Hey everyone, it's Danny. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm making a really quick, really easy, really super delicious brownie recipe that will cost you almost nothing to make and it probably takes under five minutes to put together. So let's get started and we'll make these brownies. I'm going to start off with a dry ingredient. So I've got one cup of plain flour or all purpose flour that I'm going to sift. Then I have two thirds of a cup of cocoa powder. So use cocoa powder. This is different to um, hot cocoa mix or um, hot chocolate mix. So at the supermarket, you want to make sure that you're looking for um, cocoa powder. And then to that, I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of baking powder and half a teaspoon of salt. I'm going to give all of these ingredients a really quick mix. So you want your oven preheated to 180 degrees Celsius. I believe that's 325 degrees Fahrenheit. And um, you want, so ideally you'd want to use a square tin that's uh, a 9 by 9 inch, but I for the life of me can't find where my, where that size tin is. So I'm going to use this heart shaped pan that has pretty much the same dimensions. It doesn't really matter what you bake it in, we'll just have um, heart shaped brownies. Okay, now that what we've got all that done, we're going to start adding our wet ingredients. So here I've got one cup of vegetable oil. Four large eggs. I've got two cups of sugar. And the last thing we're going to add is two teaspoons of vanilla. Now all we need to do is get this nice and mixed up. So you just want to mix it until there are no more um, dry spot, like dry ingredients left. Other than that, we don't want to mix too much. We don't want to make this mixture tough. So I found this recipe quite a long time ago just on the internet now for the life of me I can't actually remember where I found it. I wrote down the recipe and it's pretty much been my go-to for brownies ever since. So if you want the re all the ingredients, a list of ingredients, they're all down in the description box. I think that's it. What I'm going to do is now I'm going to pour it into my pan and we're going to put it in the oven for about 40 to 45 minutes. This recipe came out of a night when Matt was craving something sweet and I just found it on the internet and made it and then realized it was actually a really good recipe. And because I didn't have any kind of ingredients that you'd usually like, you'd usually try to put some sort of chocolate, um, eating chocolate or cooking chocolate into a brownie and I had none of that in the house, this appealed to me. And that's the other great thing about it. As long as you have cocoa powder, you can get this recipe made. And here is the finished product. So really nice, really moist uh, chocolate brownie. I've just served it with some cream and a strawberry. This makes a really, really nice dessert or I'm just gonna cut up the rest of this and take it to work with me tomorrow for my workmates because Matt won't eat any because he's on a keto diet at the moment. So if you like this recipe and you like this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. I'd really love to have you around here, so please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you next time for another video on Do It Frugal. Bye!